Hey, what's going on guys? Dinky Dana here. This video is coming to you from the beach down in Outer Banks, North Carolina. Took a trip down here with my family and as I was driving down, I was looking on my GPS and looking up cities that we were going to be getting to in about 20 minutes. And then I went onto my website, dinkydana.com, went on the video game store locator and looked up the zip code to see if there were any video games in the area. And I found all kinds of stores that I never would have known were there. So, as we were driving down here, I stopped in all these video game stores, recorded some footage. So I'm just going to put that up, show you guys what the stores I stopped in were, and picked up a couple games. So, enjoy. Man, we were driving around for a couple minutes here and really trying to find this place. Not exactly sure where it is, up on that plaza sign up in front of us, it says Game Vault. So it should be somewhere, there's a yellow sign right here, Game Vault 2. Yeah, you're going to have to go behind here. Oh, it's right there. Look at this place. <laughs> There's no sign on this at all. The only thing is this little PlayStation 2 and Xbox Live. I would never find this place. <laughs> Good thing I got my store locator. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're going to go in here and see what this place is all about. All right, so let's head in here and see what they got. What's going on, guys? How you doing? Looking for anything special today? Now, just kind of looking, looking around. We're taking a trip down to uh, North Carolina, so I put a store locator, video game store locator, on my site, and it brought up yours. Cool. So. Sweet. It actually works. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. We've been here for a couple of years, and there are people that have lived in town. Oh yeah. All their life and never knew. Yeah, I think someone I think someone actually contacted me and told me about about you guys and I put it into my uh, into my database and then when I was driving by it happened to be the one that we were we were coming by, so pretty cool. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Try to stay vintage and then everyone brings the new stuff in, so you gotta kinda accommodate for that. Yeah, I like we get a lot of boats that I like a lot of the old stuff. That's what, that's what we're about, man. Yeah. School school. All right, so walked in here. They got all kinds of games, most mostly old school stuff too. So pretty cool looking around at that. Just give a quick tour of the place. So how do you guys get most of this stuff? Just trade and things yeah, like that? A lot of people clear out their garage or their basement, bring it in here. Yeah. July 20th. July 20th. Did you see that? The advanced tickets went on sale four days ago. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's for the uh, higher ed theaters that we don't, we really don't have, yeah. uh, you know, around here. Yeah. Plus ones like Star City, West Virginia. Wow. Yeah. Uh, which Morgantown from here is only like about 45 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah so. Oh, yeah. Now look at this. They even got a room set up in the back. Yeah, that was a pretty cool store. Tons of old games. They they said they started out only old retro games, and then people kept bringing in new games, so they kind of expanded a little bit into that. But uh, just picked up one game, Mutant League Football. I used to play this game all the time on the Sega channel. This and Mutant League Hockey. But a uh, pretty good game. So got it for 20 bucks. That's about what it about what it goes for on eBay. But it's one that I remember remember growing up with. So cool game to add to the collection. And yeah, check out this place we're stopping at. My dad was driving, wanted to stop at the sporting good place. Look at look at this. Pretty curious to see what we're gonna be finding in this place. Let's go check it out.
What's that? He went over there. Oh, okay. You guys have any old video game stuff in here? Uh, old video game stuff? Yeah. I always check when I see DVDs and VHS sitting out. PlayStation games, uh, but I don't know where you talk to like Nintendo and stuff like that. You have to ask John. Okay. I don't really if he's out there about things today. Yeah. All right, cool. Thanks a lot. Thank you. All right, so I used my store locator again. We're right outside of Fredericksburg, and it took us back into this little shopping center. Pretty tough to believe that there's going to be a GameStop back here, or a Game Store, but it says that it's here. I mean, we had to go around these little, little tiny back roads to get here, so we're driving around this little section. They do have some stores back here, so it could be. Yeah, here we didn't check over there yet. Let's see, GamePad 418. <laughs> I don't know how anyone would ever find this store. Oh, here's where all the open stuff is. Look at all these cars. Oh, game vault. There we go. Look at all these people playing magic cards in there. All right, let's park. <laughs> they got a magic tournament going on in there and everything. They got Citadel. That game is a lot of fun. All right, let's go in. Yeah, I look up this place and I, on my store locator, and I'm thinking, oh man, I got bad, bad stores in my locator because they're not, they're not actually in the right place. But I don't know. I guess it is pretty cool. They got a tournament going on back there, and we're gonna take a look in there, see what games they're playing. I'm assuming it's probably Magic: The Gathering, and then uh, hopefully they got some video games in there too. Let's go on in and take a look. Wow, they got Oh, look at that. That card right there, that Force of Will? Yeah. 70 bucks. I have like five of those. Really? Yeah. All right, so yeah, Game Vault, that was a pretty cool place. I asked them if I could do kind of a tour and actually let them know that I was recording. <laughs> but, uh,. Yeah, they said only the owner wasn't there, so they weren't sure if they could do that. But I picked up this board game, Eminent Domain. I used to play a game called Dominion, and it was it was a lot of fun. It's a card game, strategy. But I picked this up to play with my friends. And while we were in there, they said that there's another awesome video game store across the street. So we're going to go over and check that one out. And they said they have tons of retro stuff and old Nintendo games and everything. So record some footage of that place, too. All right, so it looks like this is the other store that they were talking about called the Game Pad. Apparently they were the neighbors of the other place and they switched up to here. It looks more like a place where you can go in and pay by the hour to play games. But uh, I don't know, we're gonna stop in and take a look and see if they're selling anything.
Looks like, looks like they might be. Talk about a sweet job, he's just sitting there, sitting there playing games. <laughs> yeah, that place was more of just a store where you could go and play games by the hour. But they did have some some games that I picked up. I got a boxed SD and Axe for NES for seven bucks, boxed and complete. And also quad challenge. And this was like three bucks. So I mean they had some games, but overall it was just a play. All right, down here Saturday morning in Newport News, Virginia. Found a flea market about 10 minutes from our hotel. So we're gonna go take a look around and see what we can get. See if we find any video games. Yeah? Yeah, we used to have one of them, didn't we? I don't know. There we go. Yeah, I don't think I have that one. Nah, I already got that. Oh, Lolo. Definitely like Lolo. Yeah, we'll see what. Remember playing that up at up at the office? Uh huh. I don't think I have this one either, but that's all like. That's all here. Yeah. <laughs> How much for these uh, four games here? Twelve dollars. All right, ran into a couple games up there. The first one here is uh, Thrilla's Safari. I didn't have this in my Nintendo collection, so it's kind of beat up. Uh, 
you know, the label's a little bit beat up, but I didn't have it, never played it before, so I grabbed that. I also picked up Adventures of Lolo. I thought I didn't have this. I loved this game as a kid, but um, turns out I already had it. And then the third one, Contra, pretty badass. I got all of these for 12 bucks. I also picked up the movie City Heat, never seen that, Clint Eastwood. Should be pretty good. And then the last thing was Final Fantasy VIII for the PC. And, uh... Pretty nice, pretty nice packaging, so grab that. It's not too bad a deal for 12 bucks total. Alright, last stop before we get down to Outer Banks. Found this store called Video Game Heaven. So we're going to check this out and uh, see what's going on. See what's going on in here. Looks like they know what they're talking about, decorating their place up like this. <laughs> That is definitely a gaming store right there. <laughs> check out that big hot salt tray. Got another big truck over there. Yeah. Hey guys. Hey, what's going on? Hey, cool. Thanks. Okay, cool. Thank you. There's a lot of Nintendo games. Hey, How long you guys been open here? Uh, about six years. Yeah, that place was really cool. Called Video Game Heaven, located in Chesapeake, Virginia. I picked up a couple games in there. The first one was um, Lost Odyssey. I've been I've been thinking about getting this game, but haven't gotten it. And for $7.99, that's a really good deal on it. Got a couple Nintendo games too. 
We got Shingen the Roller. Totally rad. <laughs> I've never played this game. I don't own any of these, so I figured I'd pick them up, try them out. Had to get that one. Here we got Baseball Simulator 1000. Wall, Wall Street Kid. And last, The Secret Scroll, or Flying Dragon, The Secret Scroll. So, cool to add more games to my collection, my Nintendo collection. And I've been meaning to play Lost Odyssey, so it should be pretty good playing that one. But yeah, definitely check this store out. They had decent prices, and they had tons of different games in there. All retro, too, so really cool.